Hello, welcome to Tech Notice. I'm behind this uh, motherboard fort. This side, gaming motherboards. This side, greater motherboards. The big question is, what's the difference and which one is better? Can you game on a greater motherboard and can you create on a gaming motherboard? Does one gap the other one? Does some CPUs work better on the other one? Well, let's sort out some misconceptions about the different motherboards. One of the biggest questions that I've had on this channel is that I want the best performance out of my CPU, which motherboard should I go for? Here's the thing, none of the motherboards actually affect your CPU speed. And 99% of the time, I know there's exceptions and those who really know PC stuff, they can tell you that, you know, some of the motherboards maybe are better for overclocking and some of them, you know, heat sinks and things like that. But the general golden rule is you can get a lower end motherboard like a B450 and an X570 and your Ryzen 9 chip is gonna run exactly the same on both of these chips exactly the same on intel platform if you've got the z590 or b560 or something like that your chip is exactly going to run the same speed so motherboards don't actually affect cpu speed second question what's the difference between gaming motherboards and creator motherboards well motherboards are basically just for connectivity motherboards are the like the motherships motherboards that connect different parts and different external parts to your PC and CPU and other components inside. So the higher end motherboards basically have more connectivity. They have faster USB ports, they have more of them, they have turnable ports, they have maybe some other features, they have more storage options over there, there's more PCIe slots over there, things like that. So if you're wondering what's the difference between gaming and creator motherboards, then creators usually like a little bit different things that don't matter to gamers. For example, 2.5 gig LAN or 10 gigabit Ethernet port doesn't matter on gaming boards because like you don't game on your NAS but for creators that's very important. At the same time a lot of M.2 storage. I know now this is a little bit misconceptive area because gamers like a lot of M.2 slots as well but for creators to have your project cache and OS drive all on a different one plus a lot of database on another one is very important for creators whereas there's not that much of a difference on gamers. You may, might want like a game drive, an OS drive. For creators, there might be much more storage and things needed and things like that. For example, Thunderbolt and display out for creators, like this ASUS board have a Thunderbolt 4 and have even this Gigabyte X 570S Aero G board has a display out through USB-C. Some of the creators need USB-C output for their tablets and things like that. Next question, can you create on a gaming motherboard yes absolutely you can if you don't need some of the features that might be on some other greater boards then go for a gaming board because there are cheaper gaming boards you can have that still run your gpu cpu and your programs run as fast as on a creator board they might have just less features next question can you game on a creator board? Let's say you're a creator and you like to game sometimes as well. Is my creator board gonna be worse at gaming just because I have a creator board? No, absolutely not. Your game performance is not affected by the motherboard. You can have either of these motherboards, your gaming performance will be exactly the same. And if this wasn't clear for you, Gamers and creators, you can get either one of these motherboards and you can do both of your tasks, creators and gaming good on both of them. It's just if you're more focused on one or more focused on the other one, you might want one or the other. So hope this cleared a little bit of the air, what motherboards are for and which motherboards to choose if you are a gamer or a creator. If you want to know what are some of the good creator boards, then check out some of the great motherboard reviews on the channel because on this channel, this is all about creators. Thanks guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Disappears.